Hi guys, what's going on? Harry here, and today I'm just going to give you a quick demo of my new colour picker for my show file in the 2019 file. So, um, you've probably seen this colour picker quite a lot, this style, it's quite popular. Um, it works best for me, it's just easy. Um, but mine's slightly different, it's got a few extra added features, so I'm just going to show you around those today. So, um, you've obviously got the normal loading, just click or tap on a screen, and you can select your colours, let me set them all back to white quickly. But uh, you see this button down here, it's called load, and that basically means I can load my colours in the background in a build up to a drop. And as soon as that drop comes, I can hit this magical button over here called drop, and there's some fancy stuff with some night variables and macros and other stuff. And when I hit that, everything that is loaded will then be put straight into live, and you'll see it in the rig. So I'm just going to show you how that works quickly. So if I click my load button, and then let's say I want to load red on beams, green on spots, cyan on wash, uh, yellow on LED 1 and violet on LED 2. So it's coming up to the drop and then it hits the drop. So I hit my drop button and you can see that they all snap into the colours that I loaded. And that all works really well, all instant and perfectly fine. So let's set it all back to white and show you another example. So let's load orange, fern green, uh, cyan, blue and pink. So say I want to change my loading for the spot colour. I don't want it to be fern green anymore, I want it to actually be violet. So if I click anywhere on the row, it will get rid of the loading, it will reset that row and then I can click on violet and it will load that and then it comes up to the drop, I hit drop and it goes to violet, not to fern green. So that's pretty much it. It works really well for what I need to use it for. Um, these are all the same macros as well. The macros don't actually change. So although they do have different functions where different things are enabled like the load button, um, they don't actually change. It's all one macro. Which took a little bit of working out, but it's all fine and working. So that's it for now and I will see you in the next video.